My beautiful friends, I'm going to try to contain myself during this video. Um, something nearly miraculous happened today, and we're going to talk about that. It's beautiful. This one thing or one person has actually giving, given me a sense of hope. What the hell am I talking about? Let's start off with this. Um, no surprise for you, my beautiful lions, my exceptionally beautiful lionesses, and of course my my cubs, my cubs. Um, no rate hike today. As a matter of fact, um, the Federal Reserve is not. They are not going to raise rates for the entire year. Let's put another perspective on that real quick. I'm not making this up. This is what they said. He, it, Powell. Um, if you recall, up until, well, I guess today, we were getting two rate hikes from the Federal Reserve. Their words, its words. Today, oh no, no rate hikes at all. Not only that. The Federal Reserve has downgraded the U.S. economy uh, and is admitting that we are going to miss GDP forecasts. Now, to you, this, you know, you already knew this. You, all of you out here, are, are by far the smartest non-brainwashed, this is the truth. I mean, there are legions of brainwashed individuals that are following other YouTube blogs out here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But you can think circles around these people. They have no clue, and that's fine. Um, so, no hike at all for 2019. What happened to the Federal Reserve being data dependent? I guess they must know something that we don't. Downgrading the U.S. economy. Um, again, it's, it's, it's a joke that you almost you almost can't make this up now when I started off this video uh, I alluded to a ray of hope here uh, in, in the human realm and, and we're going to talk about that now so as you all know this is and this is the truth the Federal Reserve chairperson today it Powell they get the questions ahead of time so they know what, how they're going to answer things. If you also notice, when, when you see a split screen, you will see the question being asked, and then you're going to see Powell, or whoever the chairperson is today, Powell, looking down. And they, they don't show the split screen too often for this reason. Because as the question is being asked, he's looking down to review the question and the answer. Again, it's scripted but today today something slipped through the cracks and I want to give the biggest shout out on the face of the earth to this gentleman I wrote his name down Stephen Beckner this guy is my new best friend uh, true I don't know him I wish I did Stephen if you're watching this You have given this guy hope. He's a freelance journalist. If you notice today, during the, the, the question and answer segment, after the Fed announcement, you know, uh, the big news, uh, oh, there's no signs of recession, um, and the economy is strong. Meanwhile, uh, we're going to downgrade the economy, yeah, and no heights for 2019. Oh, the havoc that was wreaked. Uh, after those comments on the dollar and on the, the bond market, we'll talk about that in a second, we're pretty much off the Richter scale. But anyway, going back to what I was saying. So if you were watching the question and answer section, you know, split screen sometimes, catching Powell looking down. Well, you know, the nonsensical, let's just call it what it is, dog shit questions that are being asked, they're all not, they're all just, Meaningless, but then again, the very last question by this gentleman, Stephen Beckner, knocked my socks off. He actually brought up 
only one sentence, but still it's something. Uh, the issues regarding the inverted yield curve. Well, Powell, I don't know if you noticed it, but I did. He seemed to be taken off guard. He got, he got thrown off balance here for a second. And he was like, oh, he looks down and he's like, well, uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Now, this is tremendous in my book. This gentleman, Stephen Beckner, managed to get Fed Chair Powell to admit that the yield curve is inverted. How many of you, with a show of hands, uh, have seen every time this has come up, he downplays it. Oh, it's not inverted. It's just flat. No, no, it's inverted. And he's now admitted it thanks to Stephen Beckner. Dude, you're my freaking hero. You're my freaking hero for getting this man to admit that we have an inverted yield curve before the freaking world. Now, it's epic, people. It's epic. Let's talk about how the stock market reacted throughout the day. I'm sorry this is getting long, but bear with me. So early in the day, stocks were selling off, selling off, selling off, selling off. Then came the Fed announcement, downgraded the, downgraded the economy. Stocks started to rebound on, again, abysmal economic news. This is the usual norm, but in a real market, understand, if, if, if a central bank were to downgrade its country's economy in a real market, you would have seen hundreds of points peel off uh, their respective index. Well, not here in the United States. Stocks actually rebound, went up, 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 up. During the entire talk, we went from down triple digits to up triple digits. We gave all that back by the end of the day. This is why... I got out of the market yesterday. Let this balance out for a day or two. Now, the dollar got wrecked, wrecked today. And I want to show this to you because your eyeballs are about to explode. Uh, it's just, it's frankly, what I'm going to show you here, I want you to take note of this. Um, and again, my hat's off to you, sir. Stephen Beckner, this man, freelance journalist. Wow. Uh, you have earned my respect, sir. This is the bond market today. Um, we're going to go over this. I'll look at it. I'm losing. I can't even hold things. That's how excited I am. Okay. The six-month is yielding more than the one-year, the two-year, the three-year, the five-year, even the seven-year. Now, look at the difference between the six-month and the ten-year. Only a couple of basis points. Look at that 30-year. I mean, this is incredible what we're seeing. And uh, nobody wants to talk about it except Stephen Beckner and you. And, of course, me. I, I was so gleeful after that man um, said what he did and actually brought up the inverted yield curve. The only person in that room with the guts... To tell it like it is, I don't. I, I was beside myself. I still am beside myself. I'm getting chills up and down my body right now. It's the truth. Um, a ray of hope in a sea of dog shit. That's the truth. That's what this was to me. And if you noticed, that was the last question. Got Powell rattled. He turned his back, walked off the stage. Um, but again. This, this, this is so fake. It's laughable. Anyway, look, the bottom line is pretty straightforward. The middle class uh, has now entered a new phase of being uh, decapitated. Um, suppressed rates from here until kingdom come. It doesn't matter. The middle class is a, is a non-entity here. Okay, it's all about forcing cash into the stock market, distorting asset classes, because when this corrects the fair value, again, the middle class is going to be a distant memory. It's the truth. It's unbelievable. But the charade goes on. Um, and if there's one takeaway from what we witnessed today is that the Fed chair admitted before the world that the yield curve is inverted. I love this. I can't, this made my day. As you can see, I, I, I don't even know what to do with myself for the rest of the day. I don't know. It's unfreaking believable.
Um, anyway, how are we going to capitalize on this? So what do we know? What the biggest other takeaway is, suppressed rates from until we go... This is a setup now. Understand, the Fed having to downgrade the U.S. economy. Um, and, and obviously, you know, not even anywhere near in sync with our president, with GDP is going to be moving forward means more cash printed out of thin air, a, a, a massive dollar devaluation. You saw what happened to the dollar today. I mean, it literally fell off of a cliff. You want to see what this looks like? Go to my website, traderschoice.net. There's a link in the description of this video. On the right side of the page, under the bond market chart, is the dollar chart. You will literally see it fall off of a cliff. That means you will be reaching deeper into your pocket to buy anything. Because when the dollar gets weaker, it takes more weaker dollars to buy everything. But there's no inflation. You know that, right? Suppress rates. All this means is a more glaring, in our face, bet against the debt, become your own central bank. Own hard assets. Dump your dog shit dollars. You like that? It's the truth. Um, and it means that more effort is going to go in, at least for now, to prop up the stock market. Let's see where this goes. What I would like to see, so we witnessed what happened here today. We had stocks down triple digits, up triple digits. We ended down triple digits. I'd like to see this sell off. A little further maybe tomorrow maybe even into Friday and then we're gonna look for a new position maybe we're even gonna go short I don't know yet uh, but what I would like to see because we know they're gonna prop this up that will not fail again that's what's being set up here um, by more do dollar printing by suppressing rates by the yield curve that you just saw which is inverted yeah Fed Chair Powell admitting the yield curve is inverted. <sighs> yeah. Look, I'm going to leave you off with that. Remember that face. Meditate on it. Because that's that face just basically sets the stage for where we are. I love you. And I love you too, Stephen Beckner. Wow. See you later.